I'm Ryota Kazumi, and in my class, there's a person with supernatural abilities. Her name is Satori Asai. She's a gyaru who can read people's minds. On top of her cute looks, she also has great communication skills, so she's popular amongst both guys and girls. Oh, that's right, Satori! Do that again! The game where you guess which card has been drawn, right? Yes, yes! You really are a big fan of that game, right? Because it's interesting, right? But this time, it's different, okay? Usually, it's me who picks the cards and gets Satori to guess which one I picked. But this time, I'll be the one who shuffles and the one who picks. It's because you don't want to let Satori touch the deck, right? Yes, yes. On top of that, we'll have a blindfold placed on Satori. And then have her guess who even drew the cards. What about that? No, didn't you just say you would be the one drawing it? Uh, wait, that's not it. Not me, but I'll have someone else here draw the card. You said that, but didn't you just kind of spill the fact that you were planning to draw the card yourself? Uh, well, <laughs> I guess with that, I can't draw the card anymore, or you could say it's hard for me to be the one drawing the card. But that way of playing is more interesting, right? That's fine with me. So, if I manage to guess it right, I'll have you treat me to some cake, okay? Okay, okay! I won't lose! Just because you're putting a blindfold on me doesn't mean you could do anything weird, okay? Of course I wouldn't do such a thing. Hmm, yeah, probably. Hey, why are you saying it in a way to purposely make people feel anxious? Uh, just kind of feel like it. <laughs> well, even if you do something weird, I'll find out who it was sooner or later. So, let's start the game. Thank you. So, let's make a quick start. In that way... The girls began preparing. Well then, I'll shuffle the cards. Yes, yes, feel free at any time. Here, if you manage to guess this, then you're really amazing. <sighs> well then, you, over there, draw it! Even though she was the person who proposed this plan, she was also the one who drew the card. Wow, what a bad personality. If that had happened to anybody else, they would definitely guess that anybody but that girl was the one who drew the card, right? Satori, it's fine. So, which card was it? Then, a question for me. Who was the one who picked the card, and what was the card? There was nobody who could answer that question. However, she seemed completely satisfied with just asking it. Hmm, hmm. I get it now. The one who picked it was you. And the card drawn was the Queen of Hearts. Why would you know? No, you don't need to promise me like that. It goes without saying that it's all because I have the ability to read hearts of the people who have the answers floating in their minds. That's right. By answering the question, she was able to get the answer to the surface from her opponent's mind. That was her aim. By doing that, she was able to obtain her answer. Well, I'm afraid that she was probably asking the question just to liven up the atmosphere, but she had already gotten the answer at the moment the card was drawn. As expected, Satori is amazing! Truly, truly! <laughs> it's not really a big deal. <sighs> I thought that at least for today, I had won against Satori. Since when did it become a competition? If things turned out like this, We'll use our last resort. Huh? Let's go, Kazumi-kun! Huh? Me again? There's no other person who could win against a Tori besides you, right, Kazumi-kun? I'll be counting on you again today. Yes, I don't know why, but it was my heart which Asai couldn't read. It was always when she was faced against me that she'd make mistakes. Because of this, I was often driven out like this. That's fine with me. I'll definitely read your heart today. You don't have to take it so seriously. I really don't like having this continual losing streak. I'll definitely win. In an instant, 
It was as if victory had already begun developing within her heart. Well, if you say that much, it's fine. But... Then, I'll be shuffling now, okay? Huh? It's not the same rules as before? After shuffling, I'll be drawing out five cards from their backside. And I'll have you pick one. I'll be the one guessing which one you picked. She completely ignored me. Is it that she's going with a set of rules which would put her in the most advantageous position? I don't know what was advantageous to her at all about that, but I had no choice but to assume that she was simply changing the rules. If it wasn't needed, I'm sure she would have kept the rules the same as the previous game. Uh, I'm done. Choose. Okay, I'll choose then. Even having that said, why is it that every time, she never manages to guess the ones that I pick? Could it be that I, too, have some sort of supernatural ability? Well, even if I did have it, it's not as if it would be anything useful. Then I'll put back the card and shuffle the deck, so I won't know which card has been moved, okay? Well, wait, did you even see the card? Yeah, I saw it. What was it? Hmm, I wonder what it could be. She purposely asks the question as if she already knew the answer, huh? I can't I remember anything about the card. There's no way I could know something like this. All right. <sighs> I'll definitely guess it right, okay? As usual, she gets too fired up. It's definitely strange why she can't get it, though. Even having said that, of course, looking from the front, Asai-san really is cute. Huh? Her eyes are big, her nose is high, and on top of that, she has beautiful skin. Her hair is also beautifully dyed and arranged, so it's understandable why she's popular amongst the guys. Huh? Satori turned all weird again. Satori, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. She definitely doesn't seem fine at all. <laughs> No matter how you look at it, it seems that Kazumi has won again. Th there's no way. Well, if she gets flustered like this, there's no way she'll be able to guess it. Well, even having said that, the blushing, struggling Asai-san is cute. <sighs> Kazumi, the one you chose was this, right? Seven of spades. K Completely wrong. What a shame. The correct answer is the Ace of Spades. It's Kazumi-kun's victory again, right? Uh, um, speak of it, though. In normal circumstances, if someone was a friend, wouldn't it be Satori that they were supporting? In other words, that girl is a traitor and not a friend? No, this and that. They're different matters, right? Eh? Is that so? Yeah, that's it. While the idea proposer girl was debating with the others, it was only Asai-san who looked at me with a frustrated expression on her face. It was as if she held a grudge against me, having lost against me. On that day, after school... Hey, are you free today? Huh? Well, I guess I have nothing planned, but it's rare for her to talk to me like this. Um... Um, could I, like, come over to Kazumi-kun's house right now? Huh? My house? I idiot! If you say it out loud, then there's no point in having me whisper! Huh? Satori? Heading over to Kazumi-kun's place? Really? N no uh, that's, um... Yeah, I decided to try to overcome the fact that I can't read his heart. Even if you say that, isn't going to someone's place... You definitely thought of something bold, huh? So, you were that frustrated. I'm kinda sorry about that. Uh, nah, that's fine, but... But things that can be solved in a cafe or something... There's no need for you to go all the way to the other person's house. Could it be that you... No! That's wrong! It's not like that! Well, let's get going, Kazumi-kun! Ah, uh, she ran away! Um, I never said that it was okay for you to come over! 
Even if you say that, there is no way I could stay like that, right? You would get mercilessly teased by everyone! No, you're the one who'd get teased by everybody, Asai-san! That... that might be true, but... In situations like these, I think it's okay to help me out just a little. What sort of things are you expecting from an introverted guy like me? I don't have any courage to do anything against a female. <sighs> the way you say these sort of things so confidently makes me feel troubled. Well, for now, if you could let me come over, I'd be really happy. As expected. Is it because you want to try reading my heart? Well, along the lines of... But I say this straightly, if it's just the heart, I can read that, however... Huh? Then why do you fail every time? I can read it. It's because I can read it. It's a nuisance. Uh, how do I put it? Huh? If you start tilting your head as if you don't know anything, I'll get annoyed with you, though. I... I know I definitely never did anything bad. You never did anything bad, but every time I try to read your heart, you should maybe try thinking back to what it was in your mind back then. Huh? I don't think I was thinking anything weird, though. <laughs> uh, is that so? Then to you, is that what you consider normal? Huh? Just, just what are you so angry about? No, no way, Kazumi-kun. There's no way I would be mad. That's a lie! I feel this really weird pressure from her. Hey, can you stop saying stupid things and let me go over to your place? Uh-huh. Yes. She was smiling, but that forceful atmosphere around her made me find myself nodding in agreement. Just what was it which put her in such a bad mood? To me... I really couldn't think of anything I did wrong, but in that way, we arrived at my house, but- Huh? You're very visibly getting restless, right? <sighs> There's no helping it, right? It's the first time I've been to a guy's house after all. It's a surprise to hear you say it's your first time. What do you mean by that? I'm not the type to play around, okay? Well, I know that, but for now, welcome. Wait, uh, I must greet everyone else at home first. My parents are both at work, so they aren't here. Huh, so right now, it's just me and Kazumi-kun together... Uh, uh, alone? That's true, but... You didn't even consider that to be a possibility? Because my own mother is a full-time housewife! Even if that's the case, you should have at least considered it as a possibility, right? What do you want to do? If you want to go back, you can certainly do so. I won't mind at all. Uh, it's fine. I'm not going back. She's getting stubborn, huh? Even if you end up regretting it, I don't know anything, okay? It's fine. Kazumi-kun doesn't even have the courage to do anything that will make me regret. Also, I'm not being stubborn. Oh, right. She can read people's minds. To think of it, she's really reading it, huh? That's what I was saying! Just by thinking of something, a conversation could be formed. That was convenient on one hand, but on the other, I did find it a bit annoying. So... What did you say you wanted to do? That's... uh... Using overcoming and stuff as an excuse. I wanted to hear something from Kazumi-kun. I see. If she was taking all the trouble to come to my place, I thought something was weird. But I guess she did have some special business after all. So what did you want to ask? Um, Kazumi-kun, do you like me? Huh? No way! You're lying! Because every time we have a standoff, you always think that I'm cute, right? I see. If she can read people's hearts, then she clearly overheard all of that, too. Um, even if I think you're cute... It doesn't guarantee that I like you in any way, you know. But in general, the two do link with each other, I think. No, I seriously doubt. Well, uh, if you ask me if I like you, I I guess it's in a friend sort of way. Uh, so you really don't like me? Wait, that reaction. Could it mean that you like me? Huh? That's 
Wrong! There's no way that could be the case! Then why were you so shocked when you read my heart? That's because... it's a secret. From that attitude, I can't see anything other than agreement with what I just said, though. I'm not agreeing with you. For once, could you please stop reading my heart? There's no point in anything that I don't put into words. Well, it seems like you've already heard what you wanted to hear. So you'll be leaving, right? I'm not leaving. You're not leaving? I thought she would clearly say that she would be leaving, but what on earth did she want to do? Honestly, I had no idea what she was thinking at all. Um, what do you want to do? Uh... She's puffing her cheeks again. I guess she's someone who likes attention? Uh, it's not like that! Anyways, you know that everything you're thinking reaches me, so that's the reason why you're thinking it, right? Yes, of course. Stop teasing people! <laughs> so what do you really want to do? Hmm... Why are you clinging to me? <sighs> to make Kazumi-kun fall in love with me. Aren't you getting a little desperate? Since you think that I am cute, if I attack you, then it seems like I can easily make you fall in love with me. Aren't you getting a little too... stubborn? I do get stubborn, but if I get made a fool out of after coming all this way... I don't think I'll do anything of that sort, though. You already did. That's why allow me to take my revenge on you. If it's me who can read people's hearts, then I can definitely do something like making Kazumi-kun my captive. It seemed like in some way, this incident had wounded her pride quite a bit. Thanks to that, it definitely did seem to stimulate something within her. After that... Kazumi-kun, I made a bento for you, so shall we eat together? Ah, the side dishes are hamburger steak and fried chicken. And pork rolled with shiso leaves. They all seem like things Kazumi-kun would like, so I decided on those. I don't recall telling you anything about the things I liked, but... Of course, I read your heart. Lately, I thought you were just following me around during lunch break. But <laughs> you were searching for the things that I liked. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, in here is packed with things that Kazumi-kun likes. So there's no other choice for you than to eat up, right? Also, if you don't eat it, there'll be leftovers, so I'll be troubled. In that way, she started making bento lunches for me. Alrighty, scoot over. Hey, why are you sitting over here? You like being spoiled like this, right? That's why I'm doing it. No sooner than when she came over to my house, she read my heart and tried to spoil me. Well, you could say that she went full force with the attacks. If this sort of relationship continued, how would it end, should I say? <laughs> Ryota-kun. Whilst reading my mind and coming over to spoil me, she became the spoiled one. The saying about how a con man eventually gets conned, is this what it means? Well, she is really cute, so I don't mind. Hey, so when will you confess to me? Again, you ask something pretty big. Huh. You definitely like me, right? To me, who can read people's hearts, it's very clear. Without being weirdly obstinate, I think it's good if you could just confess to me nice and clear. That sounded to me like, just confess to me quickly. She could read my heart, so she fully believed it, I guess. Well... Even if I couldn't read anyone's hearts, I could clearly understand how Asai felt towards me. It's true that there was no need to be stubborn. I like you, Asai-san. Could you please go out with me? Uh, oh, what should I do now? Huh? You're hesitating with that? Just kidding, just kidding. Of course I'm okay with it. Because after all, I also like you, Ryota-kun. Really? You're a mean one, Satori. Ryota-kun? You're the one person I don't want to hear that from. To go out with a girl who could read people's hearts? I suppose to most, it would seem impossible. However, I didn't have any ill feelings towards her, and she was certainly a very good girl, so that was irrelevant. More than that, 
I thought all the time about how I could make her happy. That's all I wanted to continue thinking about. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.